that lasted this long into the video let me do some explaining so what you essentially saw is fabrication of the rear shoulder 
mounting uh, points for the six point racing harness that I'm gonna be using or I am using in the uh, M3. So let me show you. I am running the Schroth Flexi six point racing harness paired with some Cobra Nagero seats as you he see right here. And this is how it looks all set up. I have the uh, substrap belt right here. These uh, side belts. I have the sedan uh, power sliders. So the nice thing about the sedan slider is that they come with these belt attachments and they work great for the for the belt strap clippings. You could easily dismount them if you don't need them or you could just move them to the side. But uh, what I was focusing on in this video is I, I needed an option to attach a shoulder strap in the rear somehow in order to run this um, this racing harness. So the this option was pretty much the only solution that will allow you to still have access to um, to your rear seats and still be able to fit four people in your car if need be. What's nice about this solution is it also places the shoulder bar at the correct angle or level in comparison to the seat. So everything is uh, from a safety standpoint as it should. But uh, let's back up a little bit and I'll show you how this looks underneath because and just in case you haven't been able to follow from the time-lapse footage this is how the mounts for the harness look underneath the uh, shelf that's gonna cover it this hole right here is a factory option for a third retractable belt so it it's a reinforced mounting uh, solution uh, it has a load spreading bearing underneath so this uh, this bracket I have made suffices uh, the pulling forces on the uh, harness. And as you could see, I used uh, 3 16 thick steel, which is much thicker than, for example, factory for the uh, child restrain mounting solution, which I believe this is only a 12 gauge. So uh, the thickness is much, much bigger and therefore it's stronger. And this is the, uh, the bracket for the, uh, for the outboard mounting. It attaches directly to the uh, whole belt retractor attaches to. So it's a factory designed solution. This is really the best option for anybody that's looking to retain uh, usability uh, or function of the rear seats without uh, needing to install a, uh, a harness or roll bar in the back in order to attach these bells, uh, belts. And by the way, this is how it looks all finished up with the shelf in place. It's nice because you could uh, basically just unclip the uh, the straps and all you do have is these sticking out even if you don't want them you could basically just take them out and uh, i mean it's the best of both worlds so to speak it does use the say the factory option for the third retractable belt on this side and it uses the same uh, attachment point as the retractor on the for the rear seat i mean you could technically do the same thing on this side but it, with exception of this doesn't have this side or this side doesn't have the load spread bearing that i showed you prior so you would have to basically attach a plate underneath just to distribute the, the pressure um from uh, when the belts are pulling but i only did it for the driver's side because 90 percent of the time while on track uh, i am alone in the car so there's no passengers there's no need for me to run a um a passenger harness and again i mean the functionality of it and ease of use is 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 quite nice
overall I'm very happy with the result came out awesome in my opinion um, it didn't take that long either to make this it only took me like two three hours on a Saturday afternoon by the way I gotta fix the rip in my seat but I think I covered pretty much everything in relation to this uh, harness mounting uh, solution uh, for the harness, I'm actually running. This is the newest model of the Schwarz Flexi uh, harness. Uh, this is rated till 2027. So this is the newest one available. If you want to know more details about the seat, the Cobra Nagero, I have a video where I go through the installation process of these seats. For the substrap mount, I'm using the adapter from Bray Krause. I forget the... Um, uh, the part number on it, but it's basically a bar that goes from here all the way to the other side of the rail Which allows you to attach these um, the substrap mount um, Yeah, but uh, that's pretty much it uh, Looking forward to running this setup a long term. Hopefully this was uh, helpful for you guys If it was give a like consider subscribing to the channel and I will Catch you on the next one. Peace